Well, if it isn't the hero of Hogwarts, thank you for agreeing to help me bring a sleeping drop. My pleasure. People always come to me for gossip, so it's refreshing when someone recognizes my skill with potions. Why do you. I just love learning new potions, it's my favorite class. Me too. At the moment, it's charms and potions. <laughs> the only two we do. Uh, me too, I think we have a lot in common. Just, why isn't Snape here? We lost our defense against the Dark Arts Professor. Snape is campaigning to Dumbledore, even though the per position is cursed. Rumor is, he's not going to get it. I feel like I didn't learn anything in defense against the Dark Arts this year. Well, you're about to learn something about portions right now. We haven't done defense against Dark, Ar uh, def defense against dark Arts yet. I haven't done it yet. Here we go. Nice, impressive portion earring. Just that sleeping trot could knock a Romanian longhorn on its tail. Thanks, Penny. I owe you one. It's the least I can do for the hero who stopped Marilla Snow from bullying everyone. Good luck, Just. I can't wait to hear what happens. All right. <coughs> Uh, visit Julian Club, we've got to meet Hagrid. Uh, we'll go do another duel, shall we? We'll have another duel. Oh. Let's get it. Searching for opponent. Here we go. Joy. Oh, she's sneaky, she's sneaky.
Oh, she's good. Fluff. Screw on the wall. You ready? I'm about to knock your socks off, darling. Hooks. Boom. Sneaky, sneaky. Uh, Pando. You ready? Oh, fruit blow Pando. Oof. Got him. Oh, you were nothing, nothing. You didn't know. You ready? One last. You ready? Oops, funny almost. Done. Benito. Oh, lucky joy. Could you know you more rivet during the clip to sharpen your skills? Win 25 jewels. Eek. Right, let's go meet Hagrid. Hagrid, you know, oof. Niffler, I need your help, Joss. What is it, Hagrid? There's a lot of magical creatures that need to be taken care of. With your help, we can learn more about them. Make sure they're happy and well trained. Uh, dots. I'd love to meet more magical creatures. I was hoping you'd say that. You'll need to te to be careful. Some of these creatures are dangerous. Dangerous? Then isn't it risky to get involved? No more so than hunting for cursed vaults, I reckon. Besides, once you spend as much time caring for a, for a creature as I have with this Niffler... You'll get close enough that they'll become comfortable showing their affection like that. I think you'll find putting in the work to build trust with the creature to be very rewarding. I'm ready, Hagrid. Now let's go, Just. There's a world of magical creatures out there waiting for us. Helping hours is its own reward. Thanks, Hagrid. I've seen Kettleborn Fern store some of his creature supplies in this room. I'll search around that I should be able to find some creature food.
four health points. I found the food. I needed. Now I can feed my hungry magical creatures. Buzzing. Indifferent one. All right, nice. So that will be for now. This creature, Parlock. Uh, do you recall? A black sun. And that is a pixie. Alright, I'm meeting up with Hagrid again. Thanks for meeting me all the way out here, Joss. No problem, Hagrid. I'm always willing to help a friend. Plus, you sounded upset when you asked me to come. Are you alright? No, Joss. I reckon I'm not. Professor Snape's out of the fairy wings he needs for his beautification portion lesson. Uh, I'm sure he'll find a way to get more. That's the problem. He already has. I overheard him saying he's going uh, uh, to harvest the wings from the fairies in my garden. Mm. That sounds something like something Snape would do, alright. I don't want to go against Professor Snape's wishes. And I know that removing a fairy's wings don't hurt him. Just makes him awful annoyed. But it seems like a rotten thing to do to a vain creature like that. Plus I've grown rather fond of the little creatures. I would hate to see him upset. So you want to keep Snape from finding the fairies? Yes, I was hoping to relocate them here, but they're refusing to leave. I suspect they like laying their eggs on the upper side of me pumpkin. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Professor Snape will be, be around my hut any day now, um, and I'm still not sure what to do. Will you help me, Joss? Of course, Hagrid. Between the two of us, I'm sure we could come up with a plan convince the fairies to relocate. Alright. Clear gobstones.
I like to get better at gobstones, but it makes me so nervous. Can we play a friendly round together? I'm scared of... Uh, Uh, how can I improve? Practice makes perfect. I'm having so much fun. I've almost been able to forget my fears. Almost. That sounds like progress to me. Besides, the game's not over yet. Uh, I can't risk my best drop stone. I'll let you keep it even if you lose. I'll take good care of it. <laughs> I tried it. Am I too boring to play with? That should just about get it. There we go. Man, who knew gobstones could be so so fun? I reckon I'd be I'd even be willing to play again sometime. Counting hours is a thing for me. Complete year two, chapter six, to play Quidditch and participate in trials. We're a fair bit away yet. And we're back. As you see, we've got more energy now, um, which is it, 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 it was needed. We can't we can't deny that it was really much needed. Uh, so I can't wait to hear what you and Rowan wanted to help with. I mean, you want a bit of rope? I'm in the Great Hall. Let's get it. Get the juice. <laughs> I need to find a way to earn more house points. What do you think Filch well or what do you think Filch keeps inside of his office? A lot of things. Seems like I haven't seen Dumbledore for a really long time. Thanks for meeting me, Penny. Huh. Of course, just Word around school is you need my help. You really do know all the gossip. The only thing why me? Rowan already agreed to help. I don't have many friends. Well, now you have at least two friends. I'm your friend and I'm a Hufflepuff, so obvious so I obviously want to help. I just can't commit until I know exactly what you're planning. I'll tell you everything, Penny. You'll just have to promise not to tell anyone else. I won't. But you'll have to make me as confident about this plan as you are. I want to help just but you need to convince me that your plan will work. Why do you believe in your plan? I believe in my friends. It's dangerous. That's why I need your help. Ben isn't worried. We'll do our best to be careful. Yeah. Why do you believe in your plan? Uh, 
I know it sounds a little mad, but I think you'll see that my plan can work. What about Miss, Mrs. Novice? I'm more worried about... She's just a cat. I'm sorry to believe in your plan, John. Tell me more. Of course, I'll answer all your all of your questions if it means you'll help us. Uh, what about the cursed ice? We'll try not to touch it. We can break the curse. Uh, I'm still not sure, Josh. We can do this, Penny. There's nothing to worry about. It's risky. I'll join you, Josh. <laughs> Your plan sounds mad, but it might work. It's a really ill-advised plan, Josh. I know, but it might be my only chance to find out what happened to my brother. It's really dangerous, too. I know. I love it. You do? Everyone invites me to parties, but no one ever asks me to join them on death defying adventures. I'd be I'd better start brewing some particularly powerful potions. Alright. So this is the one here. Oh, lift off and landing. Let's go and do that. Seven hours from this game. Welcome to See, if they got rid of all this shite, it would be a lot more better to play. It would be. Hmm. It's still a good. It's still a. Mm, it's still a good game, but it could be a lot better in many aspects. Demonstration. Hmm. All right, take off. Focus. Absolutely banging that. Got it. Hmm. Little boys and girls, I am going to explain several important bits of information to you. How many quidditch players are there? Oh. Seven. Almost fucking went blank then. I'm pretty sure it's seven. <sighs> Prepare to mount broom. Alright, stay focused and uninjured.
for real this bridge, he just keeps smacking it. <laughs> Run. Up, up, oh! Shut up, Harry. <laughs> oh, I remember that soon. Take time to familiarize yourselves with your broom. I'm going to fly away. Off I go. Noise. <sighs> um Where do you think you're going? Nowhere. Nowhere special. Nowhere. I'm just. I'm not supposed to be going. You're Jacob Mole's brother, aren't you? Yes. Your brother was one of the nastiest little rule breakers this school has ever seen. I, I was sad to see him expelled. You were. I was. I missed my chance to hang him from the ceilings by his wrists. Now I have a second chance with you. I'm not like my brother, Mr. Pitch. You're a liar. Is what you are. Mrs. Norris saw two Griffin dogs working in the forbidden corridor. I'm guessing one of those Griffin dogs was you. I don't know what you're talking about. Have you heard of Peeves? Of course I've heard of Peeves. Filthy little poltergeist has caused me more trouble than every student put together. Why? I heard him talking about sabotaging charge in your office. How? He said he'd set all of the prank items you've confiscated to go off the next time you open the door. I hope Mrs. Norris doesn't get hurt. Why would he do that? Well, you know, P's better than me. But I, I assumed it was because he's fond of mischief and chaos. chaos. And he hates you. How do I know you aren't lying? If 
you do come running and take the chance that you ruined your rockets and hurt Mrs. Norris, or you could stand guard beside your rockets so peas can't get the best of you. I hate that wretched little poltergeist. I can't let him harm Mrs. Norris and damage my office. I keep my favourite chains in there. If I find out you're lying about this, I'll be using those same chains to hang you by your ankles. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> this is so exciting. I've been wondering where I would, you know, get to go on my first real Hogwarts adventure. This is noish. Is everyone ready? I've brought every portion I could imagine being helpful in this situation. I spent all night studying maps of this section of the castle, going over the plan just. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. I tricked Filch into staying in his office, but we should still hurry. Snape might return any minute. Penny, we'll keep watch to make sure no one is coming. Rowan will give the sleeping trap to Mrs. Norris while I use a law for Morris to be unlocked up, to unlock the door. Uh, yeah, British English. <coughs> I've read a lot of books, but none of them explain how to make a cat drink a potion. I mixed it with milk. Just pour it on the ground. She should look it up. I imagine myself doing all sorts of things at Hogwarts, but I never thought I'd be given a cat sleeping drop. Can you go night night? Brilliant plan, just you have a real gift for this. If wizarding doesn't work out, you should really consider bur burglary. Let's hurry and get inside that door. Quick, get the lock open before Filch comes back. Alvahamara! Alvahamara! Rowan? Turn around you donut. Only an idiot like you would invite a Hufflepuff to eat watch mode. I was wondering how to unlock the door and get past that nasty cat. But all I have to do is follow you and wait for you to do it for me. The cursed vault could be inside and no one is going to reach the cursed vault before me. You a bitch. I, have I mentioned how much I hate Marula? Are you alright, Penny? I'll be fine. Uh, what should we do? I know it sounds mad, but we have to help her. She could be in danger. You're right, it sounds mad. Whatever, whatever you choose, I'm right behind you, just. Me too. There, will, there won't be enough healing potions in all of Hogwarts to help Marula when I'm done with her. Let's see what's inside this room. You got a cat furry. What happened? This is too good. The ice stuck me to the floor and keeps spreading over me. It's the same ice from my vision. It's spreading over the door too. Get me out of this ice before I jinx the three of you. The door is frozen shut. Just help. Hold on. Don't worry about me. We have to help Penny. Mm. 
Splendo! Thank you, just I was afraid to, I'd freeze to death. Everyone stand back. This is going to hurt the roar. That's good. Floor Bendo. Hurts, doesn't it? We have to get out of this room. Let's get it. Floor Bendo. Joy is still stuck. What do we do? I have an idea. I want to see if I really know how to brew a strengthening solution. Did it work? We're about to find out. Oi! You did it, Penny. Let's get out of here. Look at this, what is it? It's some sort of code someone left a message in the ice. I wish I had something to write it down. I already have it memorized. Let's get out of here. My white ruin, yeah. We did it. Either way, it seems like your vision was some sort of prophecy. If the ice was spreading, it could eventually encase all of Hogwarts. Before, so. I heard your friends with Penny here, what has she ever mentioned me? No, get a life. Oh, we know where it came from. You wanted to see me? I warned you that word travels fast at Hogwarts, just. Is it true you entered a forbidden corridor with Rowan, Penny, he uh, Rowan, Penny Hayward, and Marula Snide? Aww. Do not lie to me, Joss. It will greatly damage our relationship. Yes, but it was my idea. I thought the corridor was connected to the curse vaults, and I was hoping to find a clue about my brother. I understand why you did it, but you have to realise that you represent all of Gryffindor. Professor Nimble has requested to see you later this evening. Why? They seem to talk to you about did or did not happen in that corridor. What did or did not happen in that corridor? English, cat. Good luck, Joss. You're going to need it. The headmaster would like a word with you later on, Joss. Well, you're here for me when it is time. Well, then. That, folks, is where we're going to leave you for today. Uh, yeah, thank you all ever so much for watching. If you are somehow new here, do not hesitate to subscribe and crush the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And also, get down in the comment section tell me what you enjoyed in today's video. And I'll see you all next time. Remember, see you all later. Hey, best Harry, Philip is heading his way. Oh, and Harry, don't forget, when you do, just give an attack and say, Mischief Managed. Otherwise, anyone can read it. And... Knox. I'm always waiting for you